came down for the Mississippi Book Festival um, to just meet authors and purchase autograph books and just buy other books. In its simplest terms, that is the Mississippi Book Festival in a nutshell, readers and writers getting to meet. And there's more to it. About half the people at the festival at any one time are out here on the streets around the state capitol building in downtown Jackson. But the other half are in meeting rooms inside the Capitol and down the street at Galloway Methodist Church talking about the craft of writing and storytelling. And it is a place to sell books, yeah, but they've always had great panels. And the crowds are back this year in spite of the heat. I think it's back to the pre-COVID levels that it was. And... They're newly published authors like Steve Bean from Summerall. This is what I've wanted to do since I was in the sixth grade. And I was just exposed to books and I thought, wow. To be able to write stories that people read must be the most amazing thing in the world. But just as writers write, readers read. Well, we like reading because we, we bring the characters to life. We get to invent it ourselves as opposed to letting someone else dictate to us what those characters might mean. You get way more details in reading. Mississippi is legend for producing writers. Wonder why we have so many more here than anywhere else. That's a really good question, and I don't entirely know the answer to it. John Floyd is one of those Mississippi writers. He has an idea why we write so much. You can't open your car door in Mississippi without hitting a writer, and I'm not sure why. Uh, they say it's because of our, of our conflicted past and that kind of thing. I'm not sure that's true. I think part of it is, certainly if you're old like me, you grew up listening to stories told by everybody. Do you want to be a writer? Well, there's basics you need to know in order to put a sentence on paper, but Steve Beam has the best advice. Just start. It's what everybody says, but it's true. You just have to do it. Starting's just half of it. You have to keep it up till you're through. Same thing with medical school. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world. You just have to get up every day and go back. So keep going. Keep after it.